Using Microsoft Office Live Meeting, employees and consultants at Fourth Coffee regularly meet and collaborate worldwide. Rebecca, the CEO of Fourth Coffee, is ready to schedule a live meeting in Microsoft Office Outlook. To start, she simply clicks the Schedule a Live Meeting button. The live meeting appointment looks similar to those she's used to schedule conventional, in-person meetings many times before. She types in the distribution list that contains the names of the people she wants to invite and expands the list to check the individual names. Some of the attendees for this meeting will attend from a fourth coffee conference room, so last, she types the name of the room. She wants to let attendees know what the meeting is about, so she types the subject of the meeting. Then, she specifies that the meeting will occur on September 19, 2007. It'll start at 8 in the morning, and it'll end an hour later at 9. And, she informs the attendees of the meeting agenda and attaches the presenter's bio so attendees can find out more about him. For live meeting, roles are the same as those in conventional meetings. The meeting organizer schedules a meeting, one or more presenters can present information during the meeting, and attendees listen, watch, and participate. There's one difference, though. The live meeting presenters control meeting access, grant permission to information, and control meeting interactions so the meeting runs smoothly. Let's go back to Rebecca and watch as she chooses the presenters from the list of people she's invited for the meeting. For this meeting, she specifies Rajesh, and, as the meeting organizer, she's automatically a presenter for the meeting, too. Right about now, you're probably wondering, do presenters need expensive audio and video equipment to present during a live meeting? Certainly not. At Fourth Coffee, most employees use a web camera, the microphone built in or one plugged into their laptop, and built-in speakers or headphones. Anyone in a conference room at Fourth Coffee can use one device, Microsoft Roundtable, to capture panoramic video and audio of everyone in the room. Rebecca doesn't need to change any of the default options for this meeting. However, if she were going to use telephone audio, she would specify phone numbers here. So, that's it. As Rebecca clicks send, she has successfully scheduled her live meeting. It's that easy. Just like conventional meetings, each attendee receives a meeting invitation, and when they accept, Outlook adds the appointment to the person's calendar. Done. Now, Rebecca wants to quickly meet with Rajesh. She initiates an impromptu live meeting by clicking Meet Now. After she starts her video, she invites Rajesh to meet with her by sending him an email invitation. Then, she uploads a spreadsheet that contains the metrics she wants to discuss, and Live Meeting displays the first sheet in the workbook for her. Rajesh, who lives in India, receives the email invitation and he can immediately see from the meeting subject that Rebecca is inviting him to meet now. Within minutes of Rebecca requesting a meeting, Hi, Rebecca. They're both connected. You need to switch your decaf. What meeting face-to-face -face yeah. and collaborating on content. I got that. It's early here. In the next video in this series, the presenters for this live meeting set final meeting parameters, start and record the meeting, and share content during the live meeting.